boarding. Boarding is the practice of holding inpatients in the emergency department while they wait for a bed. Boarding causes crowding. We can't get our patients in if we can't get our inpatients out. Boarding causes long waits. Boarding causes emergency physicians to care for these inpatients while they're not able to get new patients back. We know emergency physicians alone cannot end the practice of boarding. We need support from our hospitals. We need support from all of the doctors and everyone that works there. It can be done. Hospital policies have a dramatic effect on solving emergency room waiting times. So the question is, um, what about cost? Uh, we all know that healthcare reform is about cost. Uh, is cost uh, a more, is the cost improved by putting patients, moving patients out of the emergency department faster? Yeah, we found just what you said. We found that those patients uh, who went up quicker spent less time in the hospital. Um, and while I don't have a dollar figure of how much cost savings that was, it, it was not insignificant. Yep. So the question is, will health care reform solve these problems? Um, I'm afraid the answer is no. I've already addressed the fact that the unnecessary visits are not going to make our, if we got rid of all of them, we could not end this problem. ED overcrowding is a nationwide problem. It affects patient safety. It affects their satisfaction and flow throughout the hospital. Well, again, there was the study that showed that at least 200 physicians of our, of our members have said that they knew someone that had died primarily because they had been boarded. And the Australian study showed that there was an increase in death if you're boarded. A study that I did a few years ago showed that if you are boarded in the emergency department and you're an elderly patient, your chance of going to a nursing home is far greater, almost four times as great, if you're in the emergency department boarded. The boarding is considered by most emergency physicians to be the number one patient safety problem in the emergency department. ED boarding and ED overcrowding, it's a hospital-wide problem. It's not a problem that's isolated to our emergency departments uh, anywhere in the country. The real question is, how can you convince hospital administration of this to really get involved and to really make the changes that we need to see to take good care of our patients, to make sure that they get the quality uh, of care that they deserve uh, in our EDs and in our hospitals? I think there's a misconception out there that the patients who are coming to emergency departments aren't sick and have minor complaints. And, uh, the exact opposite is true. The majority of patients who are presenting to our emergency departments across the country, uh, by and large, have emergent and urgent conditions uh, in the vast majority. And of the patients who are leaving, there was uh, some study that showed nearly 50% of them come back and are admitted uh, within two days of, of leaving, whether it's to the same facility or another. The emergency departments work very hard to make sure that the emergency department is as safe as possible but it simply is not possible for the patients to be as comfortable or receive the same care in the emergency department that they would in the floors. Uh, for one thing, our nurses are emergency nurses, and when you get to the floor, they're specialized nurses. Again, we do everything we can, particularly with very sick patients, but it's simply not comfortable to be in a situation like is shown on the slide. We're certainly trying to work uh, with the regulators to, to make them understand that it is in the best interest of cost to this country to be able to move our patients to the emergency, uh, excuse me, to the nursing homes, sometimes even from the emergency room. Sometimes we, that's all they need is to go to the nursing home. Sometimes they just need to stay in the hospital for a day or so. And so increasing their stay to this three days so the insurance will cover them actually is causing part of this problem, is causing the congestion in the hospitals. And this is an, a, a situation that we think is very urgent. We are concerned about the patient's safety. We are concerned about uh, emergency departments. Let it be known, emergency physicians will always be there. We'll always do our best. But obviously, things go better when the hospitals work with us. Thank you again for coming.